MIT scientists discovered an invisible force field protecting Earth. Scientists believe that the enigmatic force field operates on low-frequency electromagnetism, but its source is still a mystery. It turns out that there is an invisible force field protecting our planet. The mysterious invisible force field seems like something taken out of a science fiction movie where our planet is protected from the dangers of outer space, and in fact, it turns out that our planet is being protected by a force field of mysterious origin. It prevents harmful cosmic radiation from entering our planet's atmosphere and was first noticed by two NASA spacecraft orbiting the Van Allen radiation belt at an altitude of 11,000 km above Earth. The invisible force field blocks highly radioactive electrons located in Earth's upper atmospheric region. According to NASA, ultra-relativistic electrons were highly aggressive and circulated in space at speeds very close to the speed of light. They are also very dangerous since they tend to fry everything that comes across them from spacecraft to satellites in orbit. To find out more, NASA launched two probes, the Van Allen probes, in order to study the electrons to improve the safety level of astronauts and equipment sent to space. According to statements from NASA, these particles are attracted towards Earth by the planet's magnetic field. However, they cannot approach the planet closer than 7,200 miles thanks to the invisible force field, never detected before. The force field acts as a barrier protecting our planet from harmful cosmic radiation and does a pretty good job by shielding our planet from solar blows directed towards Earth. Scientists believe that the enigmatic force field operates on low-frequency electromagnetism, but its source is still a mystery. While trying to understand the mystery force field, Researchers from MIT have come up with several theories related to its origin. One of the first suggestions was that it had to do something with your planet's magnetic field, believing that this field maintained the barrier in its place, however, after careful studies, they concluded that the barrier was still present even though the magnetic field was up 30% less intense. For example, they noticed that above South America, Earth's magnetic field drops in intensity even though the barrier does not fail, and continues to protect life on our planet from harmful cosmic radiation. Researchers dug deeper and believed that the most likely causes for the barrier were the existence of long-range radio waves originating from our planet. However, once again, they were proven wrong since the waves usually interact with neutral electrons and are not much of aid against ultra-relativistic particles. They continued their search and discovered that the barrier was most likely created by a phenomenon referred to as plasmaspheric hiss which occurs in the upper parts of our planet's atmosphere. The phenomenon is known as plasmaspheric hiss helps deflect from orbit dangerous fast-moving particles, deviating them on a parallel plan to one of our planet's magnetic field lines, which forces them to fall into the atmosphere, collide with neutrally charged particles, and eventually disappear. According to writings by news.mit.edu, what's keeping this high-energy radiation at bay seems to be neither the Earth's magnetic field nor long-range radio waves, but rather a phenomenon termed plasmaspheric hiss very low-frequency electromagnetic waves in the Earth's upper atmosphere that, when played through a speaker, resemble static, or white noise. It is a very unusual, extraordinary, and pronounced phenomenon, says John Foster, associate director of MIT's Haystack Observatory. What this tells us is if you parked a satellite or an orbiting space station with humans just inside this impenetrable barrier, you would expect them to have much longer lifetimes. That is a good thing to know.